Hey guys, I'm Nick with Technic, and today we're checking out these wireless noise canceling headphones from Anchor called the Life Q20s. Let's go. The Life Q20, high quality sound coming out of these hybrid active noise canceling. And if you haven't used noise canceling before, no, oh, you're gonna love it. Um, it's essentially gonna be able to kind of murmur out the junk around you, subway noise and cars and traffic and crying babies and all that. And it's gonna just kind of make it a dull roar so you don't have to hear the peaks and pits of all the stuff. It has bass up technology, so we're gonna have a really loud thumping bass if you want it. These also boast a 40 hour wireless playtime with extra soft ear cups, just the way you like them. It is time to get to it, ladies and gentlemen. Got a plastic tray over the top, keeping everything nice and safe. In the box are the two cables, an auxiliary cable and a charge cable. My travel pouch is hidden underneath. I will say, <laughs> those ear cups are feeling nice and soft. All right, let's we'll clean up a little bit. There we go. Let's open our little travel bag and see if this is worth having or if this is just gonna go in a drawer as soon as I take it out of this bag. There's a quick start guide and a manual in here as well, and let's find out. Oh, yes. That looks about travel size. Okay. Um, I wish I had a rabbit in here that I could have pulled out and really just ooh and awed everyone real fast. Uh, yeah, travel pouch, to be honest. <laughs> Don't sniff the travel pouch. <laughs> That's funky. Why would you smell it? That's very funky. If your child has a head shaped like this, don't let them put this over their head. A, they might suffocate. B, they will probably puke from the smell. So ignore the battery bank that is fueling these because I'm too impatient to wait while we get a charge here for a second. This comes with an 18 month warranty out of the box. There are four mics that are built into this for a built-in microphone. So you can take calls on this. The microphone setup in that is supposed to be ultra clear. There is also an algorithm that runs in here that runs the noise canceling portion of these headphones. And that algorithm is effective to removing about 90% of the low murmur humming, uh, those low frequency sounds. So that's gonna be pretty incredible if, and, but again, that all comes down to how does it actually sound when it's on ear. The audio cable that comes in here will allow me to hook this up directly to any phones that have a head jack, uh, headphone port or laptops or gaming systems, anything that I'm wanting to use that has that audio jack. We got these at Amazon, turns out, for $57.99. This comes in, a couple of models, black, blue, and silver. Now they can they retract so they can fit, you know, multiple size heads. Mine, as big as this thing looks, is actually pretty small. They are correct. These are super soft ear pads. There's also a cushioning pad up here on the top bar. Now I will tell you from just first putting these on that if I'm thinking I'm gonna experience any type of discomfort, I'm gonna feel it first up here. I would say if you're wearing these for probably an hour, you're gonna wanna take a break for a second and just uh, this spot up here, I mean, it's soft, it's not uncomfortable, it's just I feel a point of friction. If you get that to where it's kind of firm, it, it pulls into the ears and I, I have really almost a vacuuming effect happening right now with these off, these are off, not in noise canceling. And I've got some pretty good sound buffering happening. I've got a power button here on the side that I can hold for three seconds to power up the device. Once it's on, um, I can hold that for a five second hold and it'll go into Bluetooth searching mode. And then obviously noise canceling is this button here. You can also turn it over and I've got functions here for play or pause, volume up and down. So fast forward is a one second hold on this button. Rewind is a one second hold on this button. This is my base up button that I can hit. This is a two times hit and it'll put it in base up mode. Here, uh, one tap will answer a phone call or end a phone call. A one second hold will hang up the phone call immediately. And if I 
hold this without being on the phone. If I hold this for one second, I'll activate the voice assistant. Let's see if we can power up the device and the power comes on. Now, if I hard hold for five seconds, I can see there that it's now in Bluetooth device mode. Oh gosh. I'm syncing to it now. It's asking me to pair. I want to turn off noise canceling and let's just see what happens. I also do not have on bass up. I'm about 50% volume on my phone, on my Bluetooth connection. That's pretty loud. At the same time, I'm going to tell you it's doing a very effective job of muffling everything outside of here. And the noise canceling is not even on. So I feel like the only way I can hear myself talk right now is through my chest. The reverberation. Can you hear me call you stupid? No? Dumb dumb? When you click base up, I hit that button twice. And it, when I do that, it, you don't just have to guess if it goes into that setting. A voice actually takes over and says, base up activated. And when you turn it off, it's the woman comes back and says, normal. Thank you. It's the only time I've ever been told I'm normal. Base up is not it. It is super clear and crisp without it. All right, let's see what noise canceling does. I'm gonna, uh, You're already I'm gonna hold this for one second for my noise canceling. And she tells me noise canceling. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try noise canceling with bass up. Okay, so there's no chance you hear me right now at all. Do you remember that one time that you forgot my birthday? I still haven't forgiven you. Okay, let's turn noise canceling off, which I've done. And bass up is off, so I'm just standard right now. So it sounds better than noise canceling on and bass up on. Have we tried lights off, hair up? No, glasses on, hair back up. Now let's just get that hair right back up. God, um, it sounds better than having noise canceling on and bass up on. It was really bottled. It was just it felt like I was getting tons of, of almost echo from the bass. So now, noise canceling is off. I have bass off. I'm going to turn bass up back on. Hold up. It does not sound as good as bass off, noise canceling off. This is just, this is it. Very good. Very clear. Very, the bass is perfect. All right, hold on. I'm going to listen to something else real quick. I sneak french fries off your plate when we go to a restaurant. Sorry, what? Huh? Let's do a little cold play, let somebody go. That's just vocals, right? And like a chill. Let's hear something other than bass happening and see what we think here. It's like Randy Newman in a newer version. That's what cold play is. Mother, oh my friend. Oh, I love you to the moon and back. Yeah. Red headed lady reaching for an apple. She takes a bite, chews it once, twice, takes a long hard look at Coldplay, five times, fat old husband walking on over. Anyway, um, noise canceling off and bass off. The vocals are very clear, very good. You've forgotten, but I owe you $25. I'm just, just, uh, so I have a clear conscience about it. Got a little, uh ear concert going on here with these super soft ear pads. Let's try something else just real quick. Do I dare play a little Ariana? I don't know how much. Can you hear me? I don't know. Have you heard me the whole time? <laughs> Which is amazing because you would think with noise canceling technology, the first thing it would do is block him out. I mean, uh, if the music's off, I can hear you. It, you're just buffered. Slightly muffled? Okay, because I'm, I'm telling you, you've been like yelling Screaming? at the camera. That's okay. You can dial it down. Okay, so again, noise canceling off and bass up off for everything I've heard so far is the way to listen to these. I'm going to make you just sit there and listen to me or watch me for like 20 minutes. Let's see what just noise canceling with no music does. It levels off all of the, the murmur and the noise. Small things like paper rustling. Is, is wildly deafened. Oh, wow. So a uh, uh, three-second hold again powers the device off. 
what can I say about these? So let's go a couple of things. Style, let's go use, and then let's go longevity. Style, these are pretty simple. They're understated. These, there's nothing crazy about this. I'm not flashing a Beats by Dre. I'm not, I don't have some crazy cool design on it. In other words, it's all about use and less about how it looks. Now that doesn't mean it looks bad. I think these look okay, actually. Um, but it's more about just being a good product. Now, how do they feel? And how do they perform? These are super comfortable. Super comfortable. I don't know how long you'd have to wear them before they would become uncomfortable, but we've been testing them here for a bit and I have no complaints. It's also because of the thickness of these ear caps giving a very sealed listening experience. Much, much better than you're going to have with something that's in ear. This is encompassing the entire ear and is, is just, it makes it a very beautiful experience. The noise canceling could, is it top tier? I mean, like absolutely the best that's out there? No. Is it, is it fully functional and worth having? Yes. Especially in a $60 headset. Noise canceling though, for most people is kind of the extra feature. It's great when you have it. And if you're in a situation when you need it and you don't, it's horrible. So any device I get, I want that option, though I don't even use it a fraction of the time. But when I need it, thank God it's there. The actual sound quality here was great. I didn't do any equalizing of it at all. This was just out of the box and it was fantastic. Super crisp and clear. The bass was super rich. Nothing felt out of whack. It didn't feel like I was getting trebles and I wasn't catching the bass. It all felt very even and, and very much like I, when I've listened to that music on extremely expensive sound, sound equipment. So longevity, right? Well, I, I can't tell you, you know, a, a strength test or a durability test. I don't want to risk breaking these. We actually plan on using these. Um, we can always follow up months down the road and tell you how they lasted or, or how they, you know, if we had any issue. But so the biggest thing I can say to that is for the design, I've got some things in here that, that swivel. I've got folding for travel. This feels very high end. I don't have any concerns about the build. Now, having said that, the biggest reliability piece would be battery life. You know, let's say it underperforms and you cut and you get 30, 35 hours. Come on. Wow. That's amazing on a single charge. Now that single charge, if this thing's completely dead, that charge can take you up to three hours to recharge. You can put this thing on the bed stand at night and pick this up the next day and you can run for a day or two. That's pretty incredible as well. Again, Think if you're looking for a good solution that you can have wired or wireless Bluetooth and has noise canceling for $60, I think this is a great pickup and you're going to be uh, you're going to be glad you got these, okay? Guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Please share us with your friends and family. We thank you for all the support. I'm Nick with Technic. Catch you next time.